I have a need to better organize the closet storage in my sewing room. Stacking clear plastic tubs up more than three or four high gets very wobbly. Plus, I need enough room on the floor to park my rolling go-to-class cart inside the closet between classes. So stick around and I'll show you how I did this. If this sounds like the kind of video that you would enjoy, please hit like, subscribe, and click on the alert bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded each week. Before we get to today's project, let's take a moment to talk about workshop safety. Be sure to read, understand, and follow all of the safety rules that come with both your hand and power tools. Knowing how to properly operate your tools and following these safety rules can significantly reduce the risk of damage and or personal injury. And of course, there are no more important safety rules than to avoid loose clothing, long sleeves, and to wear safety glasses, hearing and respiratory protection as needed. Now let's get to today's project. Hello YouTube, my name is Sammy and welcome back to Sammy's Workshops. Today's video is a quick organizational project. I keep sewing supplies and fabric in clear plastic tubs. However, they don't stack well more than three or four high without getting a bit wobbly. Plus, usually what I'm looking for is on the bottom of the stack, so if I don't have to dig too deep, that's all the better. Some shelving would be perfect to aid in this. I also have a rolling cart that I use to take tools and supplies I need to various sewing and embroidery classes I go to, and I need a place to store it. There is no plan for this project. I did use two foot by four foot laminate MDF panels for the sides and two more for the shelves cut short to 40 and a half inches so that this unit is 42 inches wide which just fits in my closet. You could adjust that width to fit in your closet. The bottom shelf is 17 inches clear of the floor which allows the sewing cart to fit underneath and then the upper shelf I put six inches down from the top. The backing piece is 3 sixteenths inch, 3 sixteenths inch thick white gel face hardboard cut 42 inches wide and 30 inches tall and set even with the top of the sideboards and screwed to the back to stiffen the unit. I put some small nylon feet on the bottom so that it would slide easily across my bamboo flooring and it's done. Slid that unit into the closet and loaded it up with my tubs. I even have some room to spare. You know I need more fabric, of course. If you have questions on this or any other project I've got a video up on, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe, and click on the alert bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded. I upload new videos each week, usually on Wednesday, with some others in between as time and projects dictate. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a website as well for patterns I digitize and plans that I download. And I'll have links to tools and supplies I use in the links below if you want to get those items. Um, you can pay... Uh, Support my channel using Patreon, and I'm soon coming up with a PayPal link for those who don't want to do the monthly um, uh, Patreon. And, of course, until next time, we'll see ya!